Cutting the champion. His name is Saul Mambi, the champion, and Esteban de Jesus. You have seen him here on ABC television before. But for Mambi, the super lightweight champion, his first time on television. They're in the ring now. Esteban de Jesus has had a career that sort of resembles that of heavyweight Joe Frazier. Both great champions, but they were overshadowed. In the case of Frazier, Ali. And in the case of this man, 28-year-old de Jesus, it was Roberto Duran. His opponent and the champion, Saul Mambi, has been a pro for 11 years wearing that WBC championship belt. He's had an up and down career, always had to go to the opponent's hometown and often came away the loser. But in February of this year, he went all the way to Seoul, Korea to fight the champion, came home with a world championship. Mambi. The fight took place in the hometown of the champion, Sang Yung Kim, and with the fight very close on all three scorecards, Mambi exploded a devastating right hand on Kim's chin. Saul Mambi became the new WBC super lightweight champion of the world. De Jesus beat Duran in 1972 when they met in the rematch two years later for Duran's WBA World Championship. The sensational De Jesus left hook dropped Roberto in the first round. Duran battled back and stopped Esteban in the 11th round and then knocked him out again four years later. But no man ever fought Duran tougher. All right, here we are. You see the tail of the tape. 33-year-old champion, Saul Mambi from the Bronx, New York, has a slight edge in the uh, height department and, as you might expect, three-inch reach advantage. The weight's 139 and a half for Mambi and at the limit of 140 pounds for Esteban de Jesus. Chuck Van Avery is the ring announcer. He has just introduced the champion. The greatest cheers went up for the underdog, former WBC lightweight champion in the opposite corner, Esteban de Jesus, who has 61 fights. He has only four losses to three men. Now, on the left is the man that handed Roberto Durans his only loss, a 10-round decision victory for de Jesus in Madison Square Garden in 1972. Then he fought Duran twice again only to be stopped. But after that, he became the WBC lightweight champion while Duran was the WBA lightweight champion. Then they met for the undisputed world championship and again, tough Duran took the measure of De Jesus. So it's sort of a comeback thing for De Jesus in the red trunks tonight going against the champion, hoping for a super lightweight title. This is the first round, a very fine referee in the ring named Rudy Ortega. It's an 18-foot square ring. They're using eight-ounce gloves. WBC scoring rules. Well, it's a 10-point must sense uh, system. And, of course, there is a, not a mandatory eight count. There is no standing count. You cannot be saved by the bell except in the last round. There you got to look at Rudy Ortega, the referee. Mambi in the blue trunks, taller of the two, is a slow starter, not a heavy puncher, only 13 knockouts and 44 fights, but he's a clever boxer. In fact, they call him Sweet Saul Mambi. Veteran of the Vietnamese War in combat for a year in his two-year army hitch. De Jesus, born in Carolina, Puerto Rico, a resident now of San Juan, at 140 pounds in the red trunks. Good left hook hitter. The two times he knocked Roberto Duran down, both with uh, the left hand, left hooks. And they're paying attention to Ortega, the referee, better than 21 world championship bouts. Sort of uh, just half thrown left hooks, tried to follow up with a stiff right hand. Oh, a beautiful exchange here in the first round. Give and take. Now you must remember that the Jesus in red, or the darker of the two trunks, has not had a fight since November of last year. The last fight for Mambi in blue was when he won the title in Korea. That was in February. So you're a little suspect when a fighter has not had a bout in such a long period of time. But the Jesus, uh, as we said, lost only four. Two of them to Roberto Duran, another to Antonio Cervantes, and then to another fighter named Gomez. First round, nearing its end. Mambi uh, showing that long left jab sparingly. There's one catching uh, high on the forehead of De Jesus. De Jesus, shorter reach, has to sort of leap to get inside, which can be dangerous.
driver, the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World follows. The champion Larry Holmes and in Scott Ledoux's home state. Scheduled for 15 rounds, as is this bout. Less than 30 seconds, first round. A uh, little left jab and a missed right hand. Throwing their, their good punches, including their jabs, they're just a little hesitant, very cautious. We'll hear the bell in 10 seconds. Either fight or mark. Header, double header world championship bouts. The first, it's the super lightweight division. The champion in the blue trunks from the Bronx, New York at 139 and a half. Saul Mambe winning it in February, going against the former WBC lightweight champion of the world, Esteban de Jesus of San Juan, Puerto Rico. You just joined us the first round. More action than we had anticipated. No damaging punches, neither fighter marked. But we get an idea of just what type of punches they like to throw and what their strategy will probably be as we move along here. Probably Mambi in the blue trunks will pick up the pace a little bit, trying to use that long left jab, and uh, he should use it, but he uh, should be a little bit careful with the right hand because the opponent in the red trunks has a powerful left hook. 32 knockouts in a career of 61 fights. Heavyweight Championship of the World follows this bout. Holmes against Scott Ledoux. There you saw uh, Jesus in red trying to unload a right hand. Good blocking of punches by De Jesus. Good mixing up with a jab to the body and to the head for the champion in blue. It's going to be tough for Esteban De Jesus. He wants to get inside because those are extremely long arms, 70 inch reach. And wild with the right hand. Short jab followed by a long right hand lead. hands. Oh, a body punch that hurt. A body punch that really hurt the champion. Jesus, however, unable to follow it up as he would like. It caught Mambi right on the left side, outside the rib cage. There are little short left hooks that uh, are menacing. Rudy Ortega, the referee from Walnut Creek, California. Final minute of the second round, scheduled for 15. And you just saw Mombi try to pull up uh, the top of his trunks. Get him just a little bit higher because to Jesus, surprisingly, his damaging punches have been to the body. First with the long reach, he has to try for the body instead of the head. But he's doing a little of each. More successful, however, to the midsection and the ribs. 20 seconds, they'll get a rest. Lots of head movement, upper body movement by Mambi the champion in blue. Right guard. Sounding at Met Center in Bloomington, Minnesota, a suburb of the great Twin Cities of Minneapolis, St. Paul, home of the North Stars, great hockey team. An arena of about 16,000 fans, perhaps half filled, watching this the super lightweight championship bout between the champion Mambi and the Blue Trunks on the left, lighter trunks, against former WBC lightweight champion Esteban de Jesus of Puerto Rico. Mambi, born in the Bronx 33 years ago. Imagine having to wait until you're 32 years old to win a world championship. He lost 12 fights in 44, winning 27, had five draws. Draws happening very often in hometown decisions where possibly the opponent won, but no knockdowns, neither fighter mark. The heaviest punches have been landed by De Jesus, shorter of the two super lightweights. Great right hand to the left side of the champion's body in the second round. There is a left hook, a slap, more than a solid hit. Now, a good left hook by Mambi. These are eight ounce gloves and WBC rules if you're scoring with this 10 point must. The winner of the round gets 10, the loser nine or less. 
a left hook to the body of the Jesus dug in by the champion. And now the champion is using the Jesus's best punch, the left hooks. Good left hand, his his best hand, most accurate hand. Jesus now beginning to walk into the left hands of Mambi. Trying to get inside and dig to the body. The Jesus in red on the far side when he becomes a headhunter has been very inaccurate. And getting beaten to the punch now here in the third round. That keeps any fighter off balance with 45 seconds to go in the round. Third. Okay. WBC heavyweight champion of the world follows this bout. Larry Holmes, seventh title defense. Previous six by knockouts going against tough, rugged Scott Ledoux. Some tough punching inside, tugging and pulling and leaning. Entire fighter. And this is the fourth round of the scheduled 15 round WBC Super Lightweight Championship bout. The champion in blue on the far side coming around to his left. Now on the right side of the screen, Saul Mambi, 33 years old, 5'8 and a half, a 70 inch reach at 139 and a half. Esteban De Jesus, his opponent, going for another championship. Held the WBC lightweight crown, went for the junior welterweight against Antonio Cervantes. Lost it, went for the undisputed lightweight champion against Roberto Duran, as uh, Duran had a WBA title, and De Jesus in the red trunks, a WBC, but lost that too. Now, trying to come back, 62nd bout in a career, both having started in the year 1969, about the time this arena in which they're fighting was built. Solid punching by the champion. His corner told him to stick that left jab out, move around a little bit more, and then he'd find an opening for the right hand. Not using his reach advantage to best advantage right now. Mercy's being smothered as De Jesus tries to come inside with body punches. Ortega, the referee, won 27 of 31 professional bouts as an amateur. Lost a split decision in the finals, the national finals, Golden Gloves against Floyd Patterson. Beautiful counter punching by the champion Mambi in blue. Jesus appearing to tire here in the fourth round. Doing a little extra leaning on the champion. thing that uh, we wondered about the condition of the legs of the Jesus who hasn't fought since November but against a, a wily and skillful some of the experience but he's missing too much Snapping away from punches. Good defense by De Jesus and Rap. We'd like to alert our stations along the line that we'll take a station break at the end of this, the fourth round. Turn home. Let's go. Holmes, the heavyweight champion, right in that one o'clock yesterday 214 and a quarter scott will do the challenger 226 these are super lightweights you're watching now we'll have more championship boxing from bloomington minnesota after this from our local stations put your way out of there Make it.
We go into round five now. The first meeting ever between the man in the left corner, Esteban de Jesus, the challenger and the champion in blue, taller by three inches, Saul Mambi of the Bronx, New York. There have been no knockdowns. Neither fighter is marked. The heaviest punch landed by de Jesus in the body of uh, Mambi. Mambi, though, is a busier fighter. Throws more punches. Whereas de Jesus in red, if you're just joining us, has a shorter reach and must get in close. And coming in, he gets caught. Both fighters have been knocked down in their career. Remember the Jesus, the only fighter to defeat Roberto Duran in 1972 at Madison Square Garden. Ten round decision. Between them, 105 professional fights. There, De Jesus couldn't pull the trigger. Timing a little bit off tonight. He's in red. He had an open head of the champion, Mambi, but couldn't unload that right hand. That's rangy Saul Mambi in blue. Angular. Quick hands. Good left hook, as you saw. Beautifully shot by our ABC crew here in Bloomington, Minnesota. They'll also be bringing you the scheduled 15 round World Heavyweight Championship. The winner to possibly meet three-time heavyweight champion, Muhammad Ali. Whom you'll hear from between rounds. Good right-hand lead by De Jesus. Trying to get an uppercut. That seems to me like a very suitable and should be an effective punch for De Jesus. Shorter the two and wanting to get inside. seconds remaining in the fifth round very close bout there again the Jesus beat to the punch up on his toes perhaps should move a little bit more and away from that left hand Ali and Howard Cosell in eight seconds champion against De Jesus. With me, three times heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali. Looking forward to Holmes against Ledoux. What will happen there? What, you mean Holmes and Ledoux? It's hard to tell, how. That's why I'm here. I'm here to check Holmes out because I'm sure he's in the next opponent. If Ledoux should get lucky and win, I want to see how he do it. He could go either way. Ledoux's rough. He's strong. He keeps coming. Holmes may have taken lightning. He might have been top of that shape. And it could go either way. So I wouldn't predict who's going to win. Will you be fighting Holmes should he win October 10th? Has that been firmed up or is it just talk? Well, it's still talking. We're talking about Cabo Region. We don't go need Don King to take it for sure in Caesar Palace. If Holmes don't win tonight, we'll do the same we'll do. Okay, back to the action. De Jesus against Sumbi and Chris Schenkel. All right, and we move into the sixth round of the scheduled 15-round bout. Muhammad Ali watching the two heavyweights and the super lightweight bout live from Bloomington, Minnesota. There have been no knockdowns. Either fighter is marked. Now that left jab. Look at it flicked by Mambi, the champion in blue. Won it in February, Seoul, Korea. Against Kim Sang-yun. Up until that point, hadn't heard much about Saul Mambi. So he's getting his first television exposure tonight. Had to win a title to do it. Uh, Jesus, of course, won the WBC lightweight championship, defended it successfully uh, twice, and then fought Roberto Duran for the third time and lost it. Of course, he's in good company. Sugar Ray Leonard losing his welterweight championship to Roberto Duran. July 19th. 
a slip. Apparently ruled as a slip for the referee Rudy Ortega. But I'll tell you he caught a good punch on the ear. That had to smart if nothing else. Here you see the quick hands. A variety of combination punches by the champion in blue. Very difficult man to fight. Mambi. Can be very unorthodox. Even in his stance. Work your way out. Punch with both hands. <laughs> An overhead and right after three left jabs by Mombi and Blue. Sort of a slapping punch. Work your way out of there. Remember the rules. Three knockdown rule is waived. Mandatory eight count. No standing count. Fighter cannot be saved for the bell except the last round. 30 seconds in this round. And we're going to replay what was ruled by the referee, Rudy Ortega, a slip. Work the way out of there. Bell in 10 seconds. Carl King, the manager of Saul Mambi, shouting encouragement. You probably hear him on our microphone. Carl, son of Don King, formerly managed just about the Jesus in red. So here between rounds at Met Center, where we also await the 15-round World Heavyweight Championship bout, Holmes and Scott Ledoux will replay. Well, it was a shove. It was actually the first left hook that caught him on the ear, and then it sort of circled behind his head. He pulled him down. So Rudy Ortego again was right. There it is. So hindsight, <laughs> we'll have videotape. Now, Rudy Ortega, a veteran <laughs> referee, I fresh, getting a lot of advice from his cornermen, Al Smith, Lee Block, and Carl King. This is the seventh round from Bloomington, Minnesota. Very good in and out punching by the champion, Mambi. Quick, quick mover. Quick hands. He is very difficult to be beaten with a punch. Weight limit is 140 pounds. Lightweight is 135. They're super lightweights. You're looking at a ring uh, as we spoke from it last night on ABC. Building up tonight's doubleheader and tomorrow night's All-Star game has been expanded about two feet to an 18-foot square, mainly for the heavyweight championship bout and for fighting for the rules, the WBC rules. And now they're beginning to use it, these two super lightweights. Mambi in blue, the champion has gone 15 rounds only once, went 14 once, went 10 rounds 18 times. Esteban in red on the left, it's gone 15 rounds twice, 12 rounds six times, and 21 times, 10 round bouts. A lot of experience. Now you're seeing the great boxing by Mambi the champion. What a left hand. Look how he mixed it up to the head and then to the mid section. Follows up with a right hook to the body. Ooh, a nice right uppercut. Nearly caught the chin of the champ. Now taking charge in the boxing department is the champion. The 
Jesus backing away and being stunned. These are sharp left jabs. So they'll get a one minute rest in 30 seconds here in Bloomington, Minnesota. Next hometown favorite, Scott Ledoux at 226. He gets a title shot against the champion Larry Holmes at 214 and a quarter. Punches up. Just going through the motions. Way out of range, still throwing punches, keeping De Jesus off balance, staying away from that left hook. Here we go in the eighth round of a scheduled 15 round bout super lightweights the champion in blue coming around to the right on your screen going against former lightweight champion Esteban de Jesus who was slowed down in the last round by the tremendous probing left jabs by the champion kept off balance now de Jesus moving forward Mambi counter punching a little different in the last round which we had Bambi winning Ten point must. Superior boxer Saul Mambi of the Bronx, New York, and Blue, the champion. Sneaky right hand lead. Nearly a uh, solid punch on the chin. And uh, the Jesus it's, appears that's what he's going to have to do tonight. Unload a. Uh, Heavy knockout punch. Cannot outbox the champion. Advantage in the reach department is a beautiful thing. As Muhammad Ali would tell you. No one used it better. Or Sugar Ray Leonard when he used it. Not so much in the last bout, but prior to that it's an offensive and defensive weapon and Mambi is really showing me a lot of skill with it <laughs> he just throws that left hand from everywhere but carelessly hangs it down at his hip or almost at his thigh leaving him open for a right hand in fact a right hand uppercut just got through and a left hook Retaliation by the champion. Quicker hands, better combinations by the champion in blue, Mambe. Mambe in blue, much traveled. Lighter division fighter having fought in Paris, Quebec, San Juan, Santo Domingo, Curacao, Seoul, Korea, where he won the title, and in St. Paul, Minnesota once. And Jesus, a little arm weary here in the eighth round. Get a minute rest. And Rudy Ortega, the referee. Let's go to Howard Cosell. Thank you very much, Christopher. And let's take a look at Larry Holmes in his dressing room as he prepares to defend his crown against Scott Ledoux. Larry Holmes with a record of 34, 0 and 0, 25 KOs. His best weapon, that punishing, stinging jab. He is a quick-handed, quick-footed fighter with excellent lateral movement for one in the heavyweight classification. And the right is used in combination often very effectively. His opponent, Scott Ledoux, is a different story. Characterized by most as a journeyman fighter, he has won 26, lost 8, drawn 4 with 17 KOs. He is a man with tremendous heart. He is a difficult man to knock out. He has been stopped on cuts. We talked earlier about the motivation prompted by the serious illness of his wife. You'll hear more about that later in the telecast. But for tonight, for this July 7th, it's everything to Ledoux. Here's Chris. 
Thank you, Howard. We look forward to that scheduled 15 round heavyweight championship fight. We've moved now to the ninth round of this scheduled 15 round world super lightweight championship. Also, World Boxing Council sanction. Former WBC lightweight champion in red on the far side, Esteban de Jesus, appearing to tire just a bit. He's had uh, many, many left hands stuck in his face. A few right hands for the champion in blue, Saul Mambi of the Bronx, New York. 33 years old. De Jesus is 28. Both began their careers in 1969. Mambi in blue, winning his first bout a six round decision in Kingston, Jamaica. Whereas De Jesus on the left, ducking punches, won his first bout with a two round knockout in San Juan. now may have a nosebleed. We are in the ninth round of the scheduled 15 round bout. Showing his defensive skill, blocking those punches. As we have 50 seconds remaining in the ninth round, there you, there you got a very good idea of just how stiff that left jab is. You saw the head snap back, being hit on the chin. De Jesus. But remember, he's a one-punch knockout, super lightweight. De Jesus. Tiring bout. Lots of action. Beautifully blocked again by the champion in blue, Mumbi. Mark the bell in 10 seconds. The scheduled 15 round super lightweight bout. No knockdowns, need a fighter mark. Mambi is the champion in blue. He has taken charge, but Esteban de Jesus has fought back. Occasionally leading, trying to counter punch when he gets inside, but he's being beaten to the punch of the long arms and hands, quick hands okay. of Mambi. There you see the quickness. Doubling up on jabs or hooks. Don't pull back in the neck. Do not hold behind the neck. That is illegal. Oh, missed the left hook and caught a left hook in the belly. De Jesus. Another one to the body. He's starting to rip now. Mamba. Look at him block those punches with the gloves. Especially with the right hand. Sometimes the left hand is too, too low. Good body punch by De Jesus, picking up the pace, getting through a right hand. Short right hook. We're in the tenth round. With about a minute and 45 seconds to go in this fast-paced round. to Jesus to see if the wind might be knocked out of his sails, but he's fighting back. The shots show you what it's like inside. Tough business, isn't it? Get out of there! round will end in one minute. 
pitches thrown from about every angle. I'm surprised that we haven't a, a cut on either fighter. You have to give the Jesus a lot of credit, but the jabs fly and land and still wades in trying to land the haymaker. They've got a much needed rest in 20 seconds. in Minnesota. It's a boxing doubleheader tonight. Some sparring a week from tonight. Monday, July 14th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. ABC News takes the floor at the Republican Convention at Joe Louis Arena in Detroit with innovative election coverage you've come to expect from ABC News. Joining for the first time as anchors, two of the best. Frank Reynolds, Ted Koppel, Barbara Walters takes you behind the scenes with special interviews. Special edition of 2020 make this coverage unique with inside looks at the people and the stories behind the candidates. From the first gavel to the last hurrah, most watched in 1980 for political coverage, ABC News takes the floor beginning July 14th. They're taking the floor very soon here at Metropolitan Center Arena as we look at Esteban de Jesus, unmarked, being talked to, a little ammonia, trying to clear any cobwebs that might be there coming out now for the 11th round. De Jesus, former lightweight champion. Rossi himself, he's taken a lot of punishment. He tried to dish it out. But it's a clever champion in blue. Saul Paul Mumpe of the Bronx, New York. Look at those quick moves we've come to expect in the exciting lighter divisions. And with that educated left jab that Mombi possesses, we suspect in the Schedule 15 round heavyweight bout that you'll see a tremendous jab thrown by the champion Larry Holmes. Gets 226 pounds, Scott Ledoux, the underdog. There, De Jesus tried to unload the, the knockout punch. He's in superb condition, ready for his first television appearance and his first defense of a title that he won in far off Seoul, Korea against Kim sang Yoon. Time, we have a, a lace or a piece of tape on the left glove, the eight ounce gloves worn by these super lightweights. Some tape came loose, the clock stops. At least the timekeeper here should have stopped the clock. He did, as I look to my left now. Alert, as can be. So we'll do a little repair work here. And we'll stop it however long it takes, so a little new tape goes across. Actually, what that covers, the laces, after the gloves are laced up, the remaining part of the laces themselves are then wrapped around. We've got about one minute and 30 seconds left in this, the 11th round. Schedule for 15, neither fighter down, no cuts. I'd like to alert our stations along the line. We'll take a station break at the end of this, the 11th round. No back of the glove. Only with the closed fist portion of the glove. That's legal. Punches from everywhere. A buzzsaw is Saul Mambi. The fans beginning to love his skill. Short, solid punches by De Jesus coming in. The champion trying to wear down the challenger. Again, we, with a punch and with 32 knockouts, we have to tell you that there's always that chance. But not 
when a left is in your face like Mumby's left is. Ooh, those are beautiful left jabs. And those body left hooks. We'll have more championship boxing from Bloomington, Minnesota after this from our local stations. In rounds, the champion of blue asked one of his cornermen, Al Smith, what round it was. Quick retort from the handler was, don't worry what the round is, just go out and fight. I doubt if it's an indication of being tired. I would think that De Jesus, who's caught more punches, would be uh, quite tired at this point. These two fighters have had about seven fights in the last two and a half years. But you can see why. If you had a boxer, they'd be very difficult, tough opponents, wouldn't they? They have been busy. They have gone at a steady pace for 11 rounds, and this is the 12th. And now there's a big mouse under the left eye of Esteban de Jesus. Swollen area. job of the referee staying staying out of it breaking them off often with just shouts commands what a lesson for young boxers the use of the left jab by Mambi the champion in blue using it offensively and defensively the only man to defeat Duran in 1972. Whereas Mambi, the champion, lost a 10-round decision to Roberto Duran. De Jesus now in serious trouble, and down he goes with about 20 seconds, a mandatory eight count. 15 seconds to go. You cannot be saved by the bell. Seven, the mandatory eight. And Rudy Ortega looks at the eyes of De Jesus, who's blinking them. Needs spaghetti legs, and so he'll get a rest much needed. There it is the first knockdown of the bout coming in the 12th round. And listen to these fans, he is in trouble. Let's replay it now. The busy hands of the champion a right hand lead, a left, another right, a left. Been harping on that left hand, and that one caught him flush on the chin, and it was a result of a combination of punches leading up to it. Another view. Oh, those left hands. The right hand missing. There. And Esteban, the veteran of 61 fights, trying to pull out every defensive skill that he knew, snapping away, slipping punches. But Rudy Ortega has talked to his cornermen, Manny Siaka, Antonio Rosario. And uh, we're trying to get, uh oh, wait just a minute. Can Esteban de Jesus get out? Yes. So here we go with the 13th round, remember? De Jesus in the red trunks with about 20 seconds to go was down for a mandatory eight count. Roulette wheeled eyes, rubbery legs. Let's see if he can snap out of it in only one minute. And Mambi the champion in his first title defense wants to be impressive, and he has been. Mambi has only 13 knockouts in 44 fights. up his punches. But fighting back. 
Magnus De Jesus, and he's down. We have a minute and five seconds remaining, and the fight is over. Good call by Rudy Ortega, the referee. The incoming, it'll be a TKO victory in his first title defense for 33-year-old Saul Mambi. Into the ring comes Yolanda, who was one of two people to see him win the, win the title in Korea. They sent only two tickets for the man from the Bronx, New York, because they held him that lightly. They didn't respect him. His manager didn't go. He took Yolanda, his sweetheart, and he won the title for her and all his fans. And Esteban de Jesus could not stand up to the relentless punching Howard of a very impressive champion at 33 years of age. Okay, still champion. Now, this is how it happened. Remember, this was the second knockdown. De Jesus against the ropes here in the 13th round was down for a count near the end of round 12, and it was just too much. Non stop punching. Relentless action here in the super lightweight championship fight. So, De Jesus now who went for the undisputed world lightweight title against Roberta Duran, having held the WBC crown, went for the junior welterweight, is now going for the super lightweight and failing in all three cases. But he fought a very talented fighter. We'll get the exact time for you. It was about one minute of the 13th round, a technical knockout victory for Saul Mambi.